The value of a college education is not learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think by Albert Einstein. And I got that from weneedfun.com. Today, I want you to learn how to think critically in American history. Um, in Dr. Fink's class, American history is um, about important events that have occurred throughout history and that have kind of built um, the United States into what it is today. Um, it's based on learning how to think critically and um, <coughs> not all, not just in history, but in uh, also in life. So today I will explain how to think critically step by step. And so that way, if you decide to take this course, you will know what to expect. So the first step to critical thinking in American history is to analyze the information. And by doing that, um, we also have this book that we're working with right now called Voices of Freedom. And basically, you pick documents that she gives you out of it and you have to kind of break it down and like read through it multiple times before you can actually like decide what you're going to talk about and like kind of contrast or compare things that are going on throughout the document. Um, next, you'll create logical informed decisions. So basically, whenever you're reading those documents, you have to decide for yourself what's important to you and what stands out and like how it can relate in terms of freedom, because that's our theme for this semester. Um, the next step you would do is to grapple with it. So she kind of wants you to like take it, like break it down and kind of like find the things that stick out to you the most and kind of like just soak it all up and then use that in your documents to create a discussion about it. So the next step would be, would be step five, which is to search for answers using the five questions that she gives you at the beginning of the semester. And they're the same every time. So basically the five questions are, um, what does this document mean in terms of freedom? And like, what is the historical significance of it? So question number two would be what affirms your beliefs about it? And like, she doesn't really expect you to just answer it in like one sentence. Like you kind of have to go in depth with it. But um, the next question would be what bothers you? And like, it can be kind of, you just kind of have to be careful with your words, but you can pretty much say what you want. Um, do you support what the writer has said? So you can agree or disagree, but you have to explain why. And um, does the document relate to present day issues? So like say there was a document about um, women's rights and like how um, we still today kind of like not really don't have women's rights, but we're still kind of not equal to men because we kind of still fight those battles. But um, another thing about this document is those questions kind of come from her, but also she bases it off this. And um, <coughs> so basically when you're grappling with the information, you're gonna grapple with what's in here. And I got that from this book. Um, but yeah, that's my steps on how to think critically in American history. And I hope that you choose to take this course because it has truly helped me with my college experience because Critical thinking is very, <laughs> very important to being successful in college. And I hope that you all enjoy um, taking this course if you decide to be a history major. Thank you. Yay!